Hey y'all, today on the Blackstone E-Series Electric Griddle, I'm cooking up some smash burgers. For this, I like to use 80-20 ground chuck. I want to roll it into the ball shape, a little bit bigger than the size of a golf ball, trying not to overwork it, otherwise the meat will be tough. Let it come to room temperature to ensure even cooking and less chance of it lowering the temperature of your griddle surface. Then just preheat your Blackstone to 450 degrees. Give it about four or five minutes and you'll see three orange bars telling me it's time to cook. Put down some oil, then put your burger down in the middle. Let it sit there for about a minute. Many are concerned that if you use a metal burger press on this Blackstone non-stick griddle, it'll damage the surface, and it certainly will. You just have to be really careful. The way I get around that is I cut some parchment paper a little bit bigger than the size of the burger press, place it over the burger, and press hard for about 10 to 15 seconds. You can see that the edge of the griddle press is not touching the griddle surface, so therefore I think we're okay. After you press out your burger, remove the paper and season generously with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. When you see liquid at the top of the burger, it's telling you it's time to flip. Now while we're waiting on the burger to finish, let's toast up some buns. Put down some butter, toast your buns for about a minute, then just set that aside. Put your cheese on top of your burger. Squirt some water around the burger to create some steam. We're going to close that lid and it's going to help melt that cheese. Good thing is that see-through lid lets you monitor the progress of the melting cheese. Then just build your burger with mayo, mustard, maybe some onions, iceberg, lettuce, some maters, pickles, and anything else you like. Then just build your burger. And that's how you make a smash burger on the Blackstone E-Series electric griddle. If you have this griddle, I hope you give this method a try. For cleanup, it is pretty simple. Just take your plastic spatula, move any loose food items to the back grease tray, and then just take some paper towels, wipe it clean, no soap required, and you are ready for your next cook. It don't get no easier than that. Thanks so much for stopping by. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. But until next time, bye-bye, y'all.